In the recent talks with the DRDO officials, Rolls-Royce have opened up to its commitment to co-produce an advanced derivative of the EJ200 new jet engine that can generate 110 kN thrust, that will also have a potential 20% growth for future programs as requested by India, so that an operated derivative of the same engine will be able to generate 132 kN thrust for future Indian 6th generation fighter platforms. Rolls-Royce has agreed for full intellectual property rights, that would guarantee that India can sell the engines to other countries. The Ministry of Defence has released a request for proposal for the procurement of 220 air defence guns, and 37,440 programmable advanced ammunition and over 1 lakh rounds of standard ammunition. It must have a cyclic rate of fire of at least 200 rounds per minute and must be effective against air targets at 4 km range and up to 2.5 km altitude. It must feature auto ammunition loading and handling system, fire control system, thermal imaging site, target tracking capability, fire control computer with software. The development project for vehicle-mounted counter-swarm drone system was granted acceptance in principle under Make 2 category last month. And as per latest reports, the private sector firm Economic Explosives Limited has started its development. The Bagav Astra counter swarming drone system will be mounted on a 4x4 vehicle that will detect enemy swarm drones from 5 km range and will be equipped with 2.5 km range micro missiles that will protect the mechanized formations from swarming drone attack. Each vehicle will carry 64 micro missiles in 8x8 cassettes that will be capable of multiple launches, and vertical launch with 360 degree coverage. Bharat Forge has announced, that it has dispatched 16 Kalyani M4 quick reaction armoured fighting vehicles to the Indian Army, for United Nations peacekeeping deployment, that will provide high levels of protection against high kinetic energy threats, including mines and grenades. Dynamatic Technologies has shared its work share on Su-30 aircraft, which shows that it has indigenously productionized all major control surfaces for the Su-30, which it has been delivering on a continuous basis to Hindustan Aeronautics. Dynamatic Technologies has also delivered the front fuselage for the FOC standard Tejas fighter jets, and the company will be a preferred production partner of Hindustan Aeronautics for upcoming programs. The Indian Air Force has roped in the Indian private sector industry for the repair and overhaul of its 150 Mi-17 V-5 helicopters, in order to overcome the shortfall in the existing in-house upgrade capacity of the Air Force's No. 3 Base Repair Depot. The Indian private sector industry will now take up the project in collaboration with the Indian Air Force and Russia's Kazan helicopters. The Indian Foreign Minister has said, that India has a substantial inventory of Russian and Soviet origin weapons, and that inventory grew for a variety of reasons, not just for the merits of the weapons, but also because over multiple decades, the Western countries did not supply weapons to India, and they instead saw Pakistan led by military dictatorship as the preferred partner. Latest pictures coming out of the Air Force Station Chandigarh, shows three Mi-26 helicopters, that have completed their stipulated technical life, and are still waiting for the much-needed Russian overhaul for further operational usage. The helicopters were grounded in 2013-2014 and 2017 respectively, and the attempts to give it a fresh lease of life have been stuck, after Russia quoted a cost that was twice that India was expecting. The Trishakti Corps of the Indian Army conducted an integrated exercise in a high-altitude area of 17,500 feet in North Sikkim at sub-zero temperatures, and the participating units demonstrated their ability to hit hard and swiftly with precision during the exercise. Oh,